some good memories. Talking of which, 50 years ago today, BBC Radio Stoke began broadcasting. It was the first BBC local radio station in, in the West Midlands, and since then, of course, local radio has flourished. Our Staffordshire reporter Liz Copper reports on the birthday celebrations with presenters old and new taking to the air. It's Liz Ellis and John Akers at breakfast and Bruno Brooks. What's the year? We're going to kick off with this with Duran Duran. Is there something I should know? Back on air at BBC Radio Stoke. This is where Bruno Brooks began his career. He went on to be a star on Radio 1, but his roots are here in the Potteries. This studio is no, not dissimilar from any radio studio anywhere else, but there's a spirit. You know, I know I'm back in Stoke. Good morning to you. It's seven o'clock. This is BBC Radio Stoke on Trent. Mike Stevens with First Edition. This was one of the first BBC local radio stations to open. 50 years ago, locally produced radio news was a novelty. Oh, uh, Radio Stoke, I'm turning up about a, a road accident which happened about 10 minutes ago. The, the audience day, right? helped to shape the output. <laughs> and which record would you like? Um, what stuff, please? 50 years on, and listeners are still the beating heart of local radio. How do you know what's going on, what's happening in the area if you haven't got a local radio station? Especially when you're at home, you don't know anything, you just, you'll be with someone when you turn on the local radio. Is that company? Yeah, company, yeah. The BBC's Director General sent his congratulations. Happy birthday to Radio Stoke. Thank you from all your listeners, but also from the BBC, for the amazing things you do for Stoke. Um, what an amazing station, and I hope you have a really great celebration. You absolutely deserve it, and here's to the next 50 years. And that's a sentiment shared back in Stoke. I'm enriched by it every time I listen to it, hearing those voices, those stories, even just the, the word oat cake makes me feel great, uh, knowing especially as I'm going to have one in about five minutes' time because I've been promised cheese, no bacon, plenty of brown sauce, perfect. You see, this is all part of being back in Stoke again, and it's great. Um, it's just, I'm loving it. Today was a day to celebrate everything about local life and half a century of broadcasting. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Stoke-on-Trent. I'm with Bruno. You can't beat a good oatcake. Right, to the forecast.